Oh, hi. Thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. See if we can react to this without dropping frames or having anything, any problems today, which is top 10 Florida police chases caught on camera. Full of stolen goods that fled police through South Florida and a repeat offender who tried to drive into two Citrus County deputies. To a 24-year-old suspect that dolphin dove through his window to escape police, and officers in Lake County who used a special tracking device to catch this criminal. Here are 10 of the wildest Florida police chases caught on camera. I love that. Number 10. Car dealerships put a lot of faith in people when they take new cars out for a test drive. When 27-year-old Molina Logan of North Carolina walked into this dealership in South Miami, they should have hidden all the keys. It was May 9th of 2024. Molina Damn, was test driving a new Honda Civic when she decided she was going to keep the car. She just had no intention of paying for it. As soon as the sales rep got out, she hit the gas and sped away. It wasn't long before Florida Highway Patrol caught up with Molina, kicking off a high-speed chase down SR-826. Oh, we have to turn on captions. We have to turn on captions reads because police radio frequency is absolutely garbage. And you can never understand them. They still never have it up on camera. So these are all in Florida. It's us what the video says. But so much for taking the car out for a test drive. You won't be paying for it when you get back. Did she crash? She did crash. Molina's brand new Honda was totaled after striking multiple cars and the concrete barrier. Officers move in to arrest her, but Molina isn't going down so easily. What do you mean she's not going down so easy? She's still trying to get out of the car. Hey, that says Dolphin Expressway. <laughs> she jumped off the bridge to get away from the cops. Oh my god. She climbed out of the car, out of the car window, and jumped off the bridge. What did he say? To get away from the cops. I guess she doesn't want her Honda anymore. Yep, you saw that right. The driver's side door was busted and wouldn't open. So Molina crawled out the passenger side window and jumped into the water below. Lucky for her, it was deep enough to break her fall. Other officers arrived and threw safety ropes at her, but she refused their help. They ultimately dove in themselves to save the drowning woman. <laughs> She After a brief struggle, they got Molina back to land and booked her into Miami-Dade County Jail. She, she was charged swim. with battery on a police officer and Grand Theft Auto. Did she jump in and she couldn't swim? Travis Lovett was fresh out of jail in 2017, but by 2019, he was back behind bars, where he'll likely stay for the next 50 years of his life. This 22-year-old from Bushnell, Florida, couldn't keep himself out of trouble. On April 25th of 2019, he made the biggest mistake of his life when he stole a pickup truck in Floral City and led police on a high-speed, multi-county chase. According to reports, Travis had tried to run over two Citrus County deputies. That's when Florida Highway Patrol got involved and Travis decided to take things off-road. Oh, we're in a pickup truck again as well. Just like last week where it was all pickup trucks. Was it last week? I think it was last week. Careful, SpongeBob! Careful, SpongeBob! SpongeBob, careful! Careful, SpongeBob! Careful, SpongeBob! 
Careful, SpongeBob! Careful, SpongeBob! Travis hits the gas after nearly... There's plenty of Irish lads who've rubbed their yeah, potato, let me tell you. An ...officer before merging onto another road, almost Brother causing mine, a major accident. Why are you Desperate to get away, redeeming Travis Irish potatoes? pulls out a weapon and begins firing is back at police officers. Don't do that. You mad lad. just gone for a second on their end, not mine. Watching your stream while being in school, the audio is off, obviously, but I had a good trip. Out, so just waiting for the day to end. And arrested Travis, Lovely. Who was thrown from the truck during the crash. They airlifted him to the hospital and then brought him to jail once he recovered. They charged him with two counts of aggravated assault and three counts of attempted homicide on a police officer one count for each bullet he fired. In the end, Travis was sentenced to 50 years in state prison. Remember, before this chase, Travis had recently got out of jail in 2017. His rap sheet included five felonies and 10 traffic violations. Clearly, Jeez. he didn't learn his lesson. Now he needs to go back in and, and uh, get some rehabilitation. November 9th of 2023, Florida That's the work, Highway right? Patrol has just been called to assist with a pursuit in progress. Four shoplifters had just stolen about $2,500 worth of merchandise from a Coles in Homestead, a city in Miami-Dade County. We begin the chase as Trooper Alvarex and his canine unit race through traffic to catch up with the suspects. Watch how he and his fellow officers navigate the crowded streets on their way to the Florida Turnpike. They dodging and weaving. <laughs> They have canine units. You spend the money, boy. You gave 25 bits. After prowling the highways and looking for the getaway U-Haul, officers finally find them fleeing north up the turnpike. There are four people inside the van. They are Jamal Stennett, McCall Wilson, Shanika Gordon, and Norbert Baugh, all between 36 and 38 men, years one, old. One they woman. parked their van in the emergency lane outside of Coles in Homestead. McCall and Shanika acted as lookouts in the store, while Stennett and Baugh loaded their shopping carts with merchandise. Wow. Once they had about $2,500 worth of clothes Where's and shoes, flash in the they ran cart. toward the exit and threw everything, including the shopping cart, in the van. <laughs> An officer in Homestead tried we're going to stop so fast. Them, but these shoplifters didn't plan on giving anything We're back. like that child it's sitting in the front of, of the shopping cart, in a lot less just going around what the parents Instead, do shopping. McCall reversed and, and smashed sitting, into the officer's there. vehicle. The chase organizing all the shopping. They were willing to risk everything to get away with a few pairs of shoes. The next thing they knew, every officer in Miami Dade County was trying to run them off the road. Went and do other stuff. I wanted to see what was up, so uh, what was up to you, so bye. Later. Enjoy the next hour of school. Gotta switch leg. So they're still chasing this van after how long? 
This may be Florida, but this road looks so familiar to a road in, in Ireland. <laughs> I love how the the captions can't even keep up when he's saying pit, it's just pit, pit, pit. Oh, well if he wasn't pitted before, he's pitted now, he lost a tire. Also, which one is the driver? One of the males or the female? Hit it again. You're not getting out this time. <laughs> Even the airbag went off. Uh, come on, guys. Where's the cops behind them blocking him in? There. Let's see that again from a different officer's perspective. This time, we're behind the wheel with Corporal Sierra. He ultimately puts the final pit on the suspect's van, leading to their arrest. Not, not bad. Not bad at all. Is it not even their van? Is the van stolen as well? Toward the end, we see McCall put his hands up as he stands on the concrete barrier. We lose sight of him because this maniac decided to climb over and hang off the side to avoid arrest. <laughs> oh, That's course. why you see a horde of officers gathered on both sides. Luckily, they were able to pull him up and over the barrier. In the end, all four were arrested and charged with shoplifting. As the driver, McCall faced more serious charges, including fleeing, battery, and reckless driving. Yeah, reckless is one word for that driving. Akeem Rich loves running from the police. The 35-year-old from Leesburg, Florida has a history of fleeing traffic stops. He's also a terrible driver as his license has been suspended 16 times by 2020. It was cancelled indefinitely in October, but that didn't stop Akeem from <clears throat> getting behind the wheel. On March 10th of 2021, a Lake County Sheriff's deputy clocked Akeem doing 78 in a 55 mile per hour zone. And the deputy done. pulled up on his motorcycle and asked Akeem to roll down his window. Well, okay, all right. Nope. <laughs> Could you roll down your window? Oh, okay, bye. Guess we're chasing you. Our motorcycle cop wasn't about to risk everything to chase this career criminal. He had Akeem's face and license plate on camera. It wouldn't be long before someone back at HQ could track him down. 19 days later, police tracked Akeem to his apartment complex in Leesburg. With an arrest warrant in hand, they cornered him and advanced on his car. They should have known Akeem wasn't about to go quietly. Turn it off! Turn it off! Turn it off! Just shoot the tire. What is that supposed to do? What is that thing in his hand? Oh, it's a spike strip. Well, an attempt to do a spike strip anyway. Stop the street. Akeem takes off after nearly clipping one of the officers with his car. He narrowly scoots by another patrol and takes off down a long straightaway. He weaves around traffic and blows through red lights with little regard for anyone's safety. As As ahead, usual. another officer gets ready with spike strips.
What is that beeping? If we don't get him with these sticks, we're gonna cancel. Just so everybody's clear. Coming up on MLK. Wait, if you don't get him with the spike strips, you're just gonna cancel. What do you mean you're gonna cancel? Well, you fuck that troll. That Close, was the worst but troll no ever. Cigar. Spiking a speeding car isn't as easy as it sounds. Maybe the other officer waiting up ahead will have better luck. He won it because that copper's troll was terrible. Griffin, actually, stand by. This works gonna try to stick him right here. He missed as well. You were trying to hit him at an angle, so you know. That was not going to reach at all. Okay, that one was a little sad. To his credit, <laughs> it was a pretty big intersection, and he had no idea which way Akeem was about to turn. The chase continues, growing more dangerous as Akeem speeds through a residential area. An undercover car tries to keep up with him, but the officer winds up running himself off the road. They he did not. He drove and come into screaming the... past another patrol car. We pick the chase up from the undercover's perspective. He's got a special tool on hand that'll help end this chase for good. That is not music. That is unbearably annoying beeping. This part's definitely being cut. His license face falling off. It's like paper. It's a paper tag. Wow. The undercover car was part of the street crimes unit. The device he deployed was a star chase dart. It's like a bond gadget attached oh. to the front bumper. The officer can fire it from inside, and it'll stick to the back of a suspect's car. Then, all they have to do is follow the GPS tracker. So the team the eventually was. ditched the car a and tracker. fled toward the nearby apartment complex. While some officers searched the vehicle, others ran after and arrested him. He was charged with several crimes, including fleeing, aggravated assault, and driving with a suspended license. Uh. Dale Shrewsbury and the Marion County Sheriff's Office know each other very well. The 35-year-old had been arrested 13 times since 2006. His favorite crime was driving on a suspended license, one he had committed three times already. He added a fourth offense on August 11th of 2022 when he stole a car in Ocala, Florida, a city between Orlando and Gainesville. Police tried pulling him over, but this career criminal had no intention of stopping. When he couldn't outrun them on the street, he tried taking the chase off-road. We're going to be eastbound on Southeast 73rd Street from 441. Let me go. Here. Let me know if you get 41st. You get north or south. I'm going to be here with 6. Hmm. We're going to be down Southeast 30th Court Road on a dirt road. Take southbound. That car is wrecked. <laughs> He's struggling and said, come on, you can do it. If you can do it, I can His do it. His plan worked. The larger police SUV couldn't navigate the trees. Luckily, a canine unit was barreling down a dirt path, ready to intercept Dale when he emerged from the forest. He locked on and did everything he could to keep up with Dale, even if it meant driving across people's lawns and blowing through their fences. Nope, he's trying. Oh, 
He's breaking a lot of fences. almost lost the police for a moment back there, but our canine unit quickly caught up. The dog waiting in the passenger seat was getting eager to take a bite out of crime. <laughs> Lucky for him, Dale Shrewsbury was on the menu. Of course. I'm gonna go for the pit. We're going for the pit. Laughter. Caption zero is no laughter in this. Oh, so shaky. Police took Dale to the hospital where he was treated for the dog bite. Once he was medically cleared, they arrested him and charged him with auto theft, aggravated fleeing, property damage, and driving with a suspended license. That's a lot on your plate, man. Back in October of 2023, police in Ocala were in pursuit of 24-year-old Tyler Faye Consola. According to him, he was minding his own business at the gas station when somebody tried to rob him. That's why he was going over three times the speed limit and swerving in and out of lanes. Florida police had been following him since he left the gas station in Ocala, a city about 80 miles northwest of Orlando. They tried pulling him over, but Tyler had no intention of stopping. After all, the police might try to steal his chain. Wait, someone tried to rob him and he's running from the cops. Did I get that right? The chase continues, now heading back the way they came. Tyler blows through a set of lights, jumps the shoulder, and then drives back over the grass median. He nearly crashes into a parked car where two lovebirds were caught with their pants down. To add a little levity to the chase, the police department edited this fun little bit into the video. <laughs> when the car is rocking, don't come now. <laughs> Tyler was willing to do anything to escape. He speeds through a residential area and even takes out someone's mailbox. Shortly after, our pursuing officer moved in for a pit maneuver. Yeah, he definitely drove out of that. He's gonna go through the fence too. He went through one fence, but then he just stopped and Let's see that one more jumped out. Time. <laughs> There's no way you're getting away, like. Tyler fled on foot, but he'd never outrun the canine unit. When officers finally caught up, the dog had its teeth deep in Tyler's leg. He claimed that someone at the gas station tried to rob him. 
If that was true, why not stop and tell the police? You might be wondering why the fence was enough to total his car. It turns out, the fence was laid with concrete. <laughs> Tyler basically smashed through a solid rock wall, thus wrecking his ride. Of On course. the way to the hospital, he admitted to using drugs among other substances that night. He was charged with DUI, fleeing, and resisting arrest. As for the headbutt through the window, police jokingly said, well, that's one way to use your head. <laughs> Cabricia Latwanis Caldwell had been on the run for four years. She'd been maintaining a low profile until March of 2023, when she decided to visit her sister in Jacksonville, Florida. She was driving a rental car when a Florida Highway Patrol officer pulled her over on 295. She was shaking and clearly nervous. She kept looking toward her purse in the back seat, causing our officer to worry about a weapon. When and he asked gone. her to step out of the car, she took off instead. This is why cops ask for the keys. Hey, So definitely a possible weapon, maybe. Cabricia Reckless gunned it driving. down the highway and took the exit toward Collins Road. Police followed her as she turned into a shopping plaza, led them through the parking lot, and then turned back onto the main street. This wouldn't be the first shopping center to star in this pursuit. <laughs> the chase continued for several miles as Cabricia weaved between traffic without any regard for public safety. Then she turned into another shopping plaza, hoping to lose police by driving on the sidewalk. When that didn't work, she tried to make her grand escape inside a Home Depot. And I'm guessing that's not gonna work either. But hey, at least all the shops got some free advertisement. Yeah, c come to our shop. We have loads of police chases on Monday through Friday. No, but their sales will go up. They they are just legally not responsible for any damage while you're in the store or getting to the store. Nope, yeah, just missed her. Missed it by that much. Police ran inside and arrested Cabricia. We believe she's the only fugitive to ever be caught inside a Home Depot. <laughs> According to her arrest report, her primary language is Italian. We're not sure if that's true or if someone made a paperwork error. At no point does she speak Italian while waiting in the back of the patrol car. Police learned about the outstanding warrants after arresting her. She said she was afraid of getting caught, which is why she ran from the police in the first place. To her credit, she acknowledged that she messed up and was relieved it was finally over. She was scared of getting caught, but then when she got caught, she was like, Okay. I know, but how many charges is that? That's the main thing. Nobody And that, yes, sir. But I have been, um, I have been running for a long time, like looking over my shoulder. Like, I'm just really stressed. I know, and I'm, I'm really glad it's over. Right. It, but it, it's, it's a relief, but I didn't want more charges, you know? Right, it, you're right. I mean, now, now you don't have to worry no more. Damn. And I'm glad because, like, I'm getting older, you know? I don't want to be in prison. years are running a long time. It is. And I've been. So, what had she been running from? 
According to the police report, she was wanted in five counties for various crimes, including grand theft, petty theft, possessing someone else's ID, oh. and illegal use of a credit card. April 24th of 2018. Florida Highway Patrol Officer Vanessa Franceschi is in the middle of a routine traffic stop on the Florida Turnpike. She got the driver's information and returned to her patrol car. Everything was going fine until, out of nowhere, someone rammed her vehicle from behind. Okay. I just got hit, and the guy's fleeing on foot right there, fleeing in the car right now. She just got hit. Someone over in the disc car hit her in the back. The driver is 20-year-old Romel Contero. Police say he intentionally struck Trooper Franceschi's car before leading her on a 100-mile-per-hour pursuit. Romel sticks to the shoulders to try and bypass traffic on the crowded turnpike. Things get dangerous when two highways begin to merge, and the chase plows into gridlock traffic. Why would he intentionally hit a car? Unless he's either DUI or just really stupid. <laughs> Ramel was arrested and charged with aggravated battery and fleeing the scene of an accident. Thankfully, Trooper Franceschi was okay aside from a minor back injury. Looking back at the moment of impact, it seems like Rommel wanted police to chase him. Consider how much time passes between the crash and the start of the pursuit. It takes her about 20 seconds to pull onto the road after getting hit. In a high-speed police chase, 20 seconds can be an eternity. He could have put some distance between himself and Trooper Franceschi. Instead, he was waiting for her to pull out and chase him. As if he knew the cop or something. Okay. When most people hear the word Grand Theft Auto, they default to the video <laughs> game. The crime itself, abbreviated GTA, is when someone takes another person's car without permission. Harley Moore, a drug addict from Marion That's County, the whole point Florida, of the game. committed GTA when he stole a 2015 well, Hyundai Elantra points, but, on know. July 5th of 2020. Sheriff's Deputy Samantha Horn spotted the vehicle heading southeast on Absher Boulevard. A computer check confirmed it was the stolen car they'd been looking for. The chase was on after Harley and his car thieving buddy refused to stop. How long is this chase going for then? It's a hit, it's a hit. Going 
Harley ran clean over the spike strips officers had deployed ahead of him. Now they just had to wait for him to lose speed and finally stop. Unfortunately, Harley planned on pushing this chase to the bitter end. It didn't matter that one of his tires was on the verge of falling off. It's only one tire. You still have three. <laughs> oh. Unless you crash into another vehicle. Come on, dude. You've already crashed. You're, you're out of it. He's on the ground. Harley was arrested Dim and charged with Grand Theft Auto, Sun fleeing, Hello, and possession of drug paraphernalia. His passenger, Harrison Blodnick, was also charged with possession when police found a needle in the passenger door. Street racing has become a real problem in Florida. Young kids in fast cars think the rules of the road don't apply to them. Just because you drive a Porsche or a Camaro doesn't mean you get to put other people's lives at risk. Not necessarily. On July 8th of 2023, Highway Patrol officers spotted an orange Ford Mustang and a white Porsche Panamera racing on Interstate 4. Both cars uh -huh. were weaving between traffic and traveling well over 120 miles per hour. To their surprise, the orange Ford decided to pull over and face the music. <laughs> Meanwhile, the white Porsche opted to push his German sports car Wait, what to kind the of limit. Porsche is it, though? Uh, I'll get to your song after this video. It's literally this last one, so... Don't worry, I'll get to it. It's a great song. I'll, I'll, I will hold you to that. Oh, that's a Porsche... I want to say 911 Camaro. Not a Camaro, just a Porsche 911. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Which like its top speed is only like 220 ish. For a moment, it looked like our pursuing officer wanted to pit maneuver the white Porsche. He ultimately decided against it, as traffic was building up on the highway. Too many casualties. Speeds, a pit could cause some serious collateral damage. However, traffic clears up and the officers are able to box him in. That's when one of them tries to end this chase for good. I already want to pull off a box attempt here, though. I've never seen a box attempt being pulled off. See how that's a boxing, but you know. Okay, maybe it didn't work. He's still going. Now he's on the other side of the road. They nearly had him, but the suspect peeled away. He led police back up the highway and nearly disappeared into the night. Our officer finally catches up as the driver takes the chase off the highway and into a rural area. Now that other drivers aren't in danger, the pursuing officers aren't afraid to get a little more physical. So now we can start crashing into Monday side and everything. If the road wasn't so small.
<laughs> what the hell is his um, rear lights doing? That's crazy. Oh god, you can't even see anything. I'm right in front of him, I'm right in front of him. Still trying to go for this box attempt. Just hit the back wheel and be done with it. in the car. <laughs> Both men were arrested, but officers quickly became concerned for the passenger. You can hear him retching on one of the body cameras. They didn't know if it was from the crash or if he ingested something during the chase. They tried asking the driver, but he wasn't too concerned about his buddy. Wow. We weren't able to find much on their names or what they were charged with. Hopefully the man was okay and the driver learned his lesson about street racing. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, be sure to click it's the link this on one. screen now. It's always with this that, one. thanks for watching and be sure to tune in next time. And hopefully this video is not corrupt and actually goes up. Later.